Thomas Carlyle, Scottish historian and essayist. The best lesson which we get from the tragedy of Karbala is that Hussein and his companions were rigid believers in God. They illustrated that the numerical superiority does not count when it comes to the truth and the falsehood. The victory of Hussein, despite his minority, marvels me. Edward Gibbon, English historian and member of parliament. In a distant age and climate, the tragic scene of the death of Hussein will awaken the sympathy of the coldest reader. Reference, The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, London, 1911, Volume 5, page 391 to 392. Charles Dickens, English novelist. If Hussein had fought to quench his worldly desires, then I do not understand why his sister, wife, and children accompanied him. It stands to reason, therefore, that he sacrificed purely for Islam. Antoine Barra, Lebanese writer. No battle in the world, modern and past history of mankind, has earned more sympathy and admiration as well as provided more lessons than the martyrdom of Hussein in the Battle of Karbala. Dr. K. Sheldrick Of that gallant band, male and female knew that the enemy forces around were implacable and were not only ready to fight but to kill. Denied even water for the children, they remained parched under the burning sun and scorching sands. Yet not one faltered for a moment. Hussein marched with his little company, not to glory, not to power of wealth, but to a supreme sacrifice. And every member bravely faced the greatest odds without flinching. Ignis Golziher, Hungarian Orientalist, weeping and lamentation over the evils and persecutions suffered by the Allard family and mourning for its martyrs. These are things from which loyal supporters of the cause cannot cease, more touching than the tears of the Shias, has even become an Arabic proverb. Reference Introduction to Islamic Theology and Law Princeton, 1981, page 179 Edward G. Brown, professor at the University of Cambridge. A reminder of that blood-stained field of Karbala, where the grandson of the Apostle of God fell at length, tortured by thirst and surrounded by the bodies of his murdered kinsmen, has been at any time since then sufficient to evoke, even in the most lukewarm and the heedless, the deepest emotion, the most frantic grief, and an exaltation of spirit before which pain, danger, and death shrink to unconsidered trifles. Reference A Literary History of Persia, London, 1919, page 227. Sir William Moore, Scottish Orientalist. The Tragedy of Karbala decided not only the fate of the Caliphate but also of the Mohammedan kingdoms long after the Caliphate had worn and disappeared. Reference Annals of the Early Caliphate London 1883 page 441 to 442